Hi there, Tanya Cardwell here from Pavlov Dog Training. I want to share with you my perception of traditional training. Traditional training I think of a lot in terms of pressure release. Pressure release meaning that we're moving the dog from various states of discomfort to comfort, discomfort to comfort. Discomfort can be anywhere from mild to moderate to severe. We're moving from this less utopian space to a more utopian, comfortable space. Now, pressure release training is happening to your dog and every other living species from the moment we wake up in the morning to the moment that you rest your head and fall asleep on your pillow at night. So just to give you guys some biological examples of, you know, how, how does our body learn through pressure release? Let's just say you wake up in the AM, you have a low blood sugar level, you're kind of groggy, um, you need some form of sugar, carbohydrates, you have breakfast right? You satiate that hunger. Your body is moving from a mild source of discomfort to comfort. Now let's say you've eaten something, but you really haven't hydrated. You haven't had much fluid. So now you reach for orange juice or you reach for water. You drink that. And again, your body moves from a straight, a state of dehydration to hydration from, uh, discomfort to comfort. Now let's just imagine that uh, you decide to go outside and do some poop scooping, uh, just because that's what I just did this morning, so it's fresh on my head. You step outside and you're like, ooh, it's actually really chilly. It's chillier than I thought. You put on a hat, jacket, you layer up, scarf, and now you are more comfortable. You can brave, you know, the 30 degree weather, 40 degree, whatever it is. I think this morning it was closer to 40, you can now brave it because you've moved from, you've acted, right? You've consciously acted to move from a state of mild discomfort to comfort. Now let's say uh, you, you pick up poop, you're moving, let's say you're doing, you know, yard work uh, and now you're, you're building up body heat that you didn't have when you first stepped out in the cold after breakfast, right? You've built up body heat your uh, temperature has gone up, your body temperature has gone up, and then you're like, and, and on top of that, usually the temperature has gone up through the day, you're like, man, I'm actually a little toasty. And in fact, I'm actually toastier than I want to be. <laughs> so now you take off your hat and you take off your jacket and you de-layer, right? Um, again, you're moving from various states of discomfort to comfort right? From pressure to pressure release, pressure to pressure release. So all throughout the day, you're feeling this. I'm just, for another example, let's fast forward into the future. It's 10 o'clock, 1030, whenever your bedtime is. And all of a sudden the Sandman comes and you get kind of gla glassy eyed and you kind of feel the pressure on your eyelids right here, right? Now, your brain is saying, all right, it's time to recharge the battery. It's time to go to bed. And the more and more we push that off, the heavier and heavier and heavier our eyelids become, right? As sleep becomes more of a priority, the pressure goes up and up until our brain is like, okay, I can't, all right, I need to go to bed, right? I can't, func I can't function. Sleep is becoming more and more of a priority. You fall asleep and you relieve that pressure, right? Ideally by waking up in the morning and feeling rested. So everyone understands pressure release biologically. And that is what traditional training is, is holding the dog's hand through, uh, through, mild, mild to moderate to more severe, um, states of discomfort and moving them to a, a place of comfort. That may sound really abstract. So I want to give you a very, uh, tangible idea of what I mean by that. A very literal idea. Let's just say you're teaching your dog to sit, right? And you're just doing it through traditional training, pressure release training. Let's just say you um, take your hand, you take the collar, you slightly tip the neck up, opposite hand, you take, you start off on the shoulder blades, you apply pressure down through the vertebrae, right? It's nice steady pressure. The dog gives into pressure by sitting his bum back 
and you softly remove all of your hands. You remove your hand from the collar, you remove your left hand from going down the vertebrae, you, you relieve pressure. That's pressure on, pressure off, pressure and release, right? Same thing can be done for teaching a down, right? Let's say you have a leash on your dog, you have the fulcrum under the neck, you apply vertical pressure downward, just to get really detailed, we usually apply about um, a 20 inch angle away from the dog, right? It's not totally down. Your dog needs to fold down. Pressure is going towards the ground. In order to relieve that pressure, it gives your dog reason to fold forward, right? Move into the pressure. The moment your dog folds forward into a down to relieve pressure, you immediately slack pressure on the lead. So this is what we meet. That's a very um, literal, uh, visual I want you to have of what we mean by pressure release, pressure release. So hopefully that kind of makes sense. Um, but yeah, that's what I think of, of, you know, some people think, oh, traditional training just means like no treats or it means, uh, corrections. It could mean either of, it could mean both of those. Um, but those are very kind of like myopic, like one tiny little bit of what that definition could be. A bigger uh, visual I want you to have when you think of traditional training is more pressure release. Moving from various points of usually mild pressure um, to lack of pressure, mild discomfort to comfort. So hopefully that makes sense. If you guys have any questions, reach out. Um, or if you even have a different definition of traditional training and your understanding of it, you can always um, share. Okay, thanks for listening. Ciao.